Every person deserves a portrait. We all live lives worthy of art. My name is San Seguenza, and this is my portrait of Magali. I had no idea that I would end up being where I am today. I'm still singing, but my life has encompassed so much more than that. My name is Magali Cordero Dietz. I am 41 years old and I live in Oak Park, Illinois. I am married and have two beautiful kids. I am trained in opera and am a classical singer. And I'm also an early childhood music teacher and I am studying to be a music therapist. I am pretty self-motivated. The one thing I need each day is a big cup of coffee. I need coffee to just open up my eyelids and just wake up. My first job out after college was teaching Spanish to little kids. And then I went to grad school for a vocal performance opera, but I always loved working with the kids and wanted to try to find a way to go back to that. A friend of mine owned a preschool before the pandemic and she asked me to come in and teach some music classes for her preschoolers. I started thinking, you know, I, I should really share my love of my heritage with others. And so I decided to incorporate that into the curriculum. My mother is Dominican um, from the capital, Santo Domingo, and my father is from La Habana, Cuba. I have this great connection to the music of Latin America, uh, music with indigenous and African roots, and I really feel that that music has to be celebrated just like the music of Mozart and Beethoven. I think it's, it, there's some really amazing music out there that hasn't had the exposure. It's just so great to see when little kids are exposed to music, even babies. As soon as they hear the beat, they just naturally start moving with it. Back in 2012, I was diagnosed with lupus, and it was kind of a traumatic experience. It took a while to figure out what was going on. I just remember feeling really sore, like if I had gone for a run or something and woke up the next day, just everything hurt. Anytime my daughter would try to hold my hand, I would just cry in pain. And when I was hospitalized, my daughter was barely two at the time. And we, we just were very overwhelmed with trying to figure out how to take care of her, how to take care of me. It was really, really hard because of my daughter, but I do think I pulled through because of her. I just wanted to be there for her as much as possible. My mom was kind enough and able to move up to Chicago from Orlando, Florida to help me and my daughter. But in the hospital, I kept thinking, you know, what do people do if they are not fortunate enough to have family nearby or have family be able to travel to see them. So the idea of Maggie's concierge came to my mind. We help families and small businesses with little errands, any task that can't get done for a variety of reasons. But with the autoimmune diseases, it's really, you know, it ebbs and flows. There's periods of quiet or remission and then a flare could happen. And it's hard to figure out sometimes what the trigger is. I make sure that I try to keep my stress level low. So even though I am busy, I do try to take the time out to meditate, to breathe deeply every once in a while, to just be in the moment and not worry too much about the little things in life or, or the big things. I have to stay calm to make sure that the stress doesn't cause any sort of inflammation in my body. I had thought about music therapy. Music therapists can really help lower the stress levels, can bring down those physiological markers like heart rate and breathing rate and blood pressure. And I, I really felt like I wanted to add that to my life purpose. I really feel like it's just what I've been looking for. 
my life trajectory has not been linear. Like I had no idea that I would end up being where I am today. It's okay to not have all the answers right away and life will not necessarily be a linear path and that's, that's more than okay. Be open to whatever life throws your way.